Our divine silence caresses my soul. It took divine time to admit that our souls are woven in constant transforming patterns. The way my heart chakra waves peacefully when our oceans of emotions merge. Spirits build our emotions all over our stubborn pride, calling out our telepathic love through songs. The way our silent whispers constantly expands our soul into passionate tornadoes, destroying all illusions reflected in physical mirrors, making room for spontaneous yet safe, healthy amor. The way my temples twitch when you bless me with telepathic kisses and pull at my soul. Trembling electric third eye kisses. Yellow butterflies lifting us from the illusion of long distance love. How is our love long distance if I feel your warm loving supportive hugs how is our love long distance if we call the same alma mine fear is also sacred when two mouths are paralyzed not being able to find the words to express such sacred love a love so sacred no egos no pride can tear it apart. A love so sacred, its bright compassion helps heal our shadows. A love so sacred, our souls put both of our shadows on the table, showing how the main block is the fear of losing este amor divino. Have our souls not chosen each other again? A love so powerful, it made my corazón cobarde, valiente again. It's been four weeks of sleepless nights. It's been four weeks of trying to let my ego logically talk me out of this sacred, woven love. Te recuerdo. Que solamente las almas valientes ponen sus sombras en la mesa. Creating protective anchor bracelets woven by hilos rojos of fate in parallel lifetimes where we continue to choose each other for such a sacred journey. Reminding us that it is more than okay to rest in the peace at the center of this chaotic and unknown journey. Our souls meeting in the dream realm before our physical selves cross paths through a howling wolf. Let's not fear our shadows or our light. Let's not fear our insecurities or our true power. Both are important in the path of our sacred soul. Relearning the divinity of discernment between fear, pride, and patient sovereignty. Are we not worthy to face the truth? Or is our love so sacred we are patiently waiting for the other one to say, Hey, I know we both call the same soul home. Are we choosing fear or patient sovereignty? Are we feeding the fear of disrespecting our individual truths? Now I know why I couldn't shift to an aerial view while I was in your energy. I saw, I felt, I heard. I expressed the divine union of both our souls our soul, not being able to separate both perspectives. I could only experience divine union, not being able to understand it logically, only being able to 
experience it spiritually and emotionally. I choose to face our truth through our divine hearts. I choose to honor the power of divine silence. I choose to honor this humbling union of both our shadows and our light. I choose to face the unknown and infinite possibilities of our sacred love. I choose to trust both of us through honesty and transparency, trusting and surrendering. I choose us.